Hello, my name is Russ Leto, the wizard. Where is it? Over there from the Ask the Wizard Metaphysics Academy. You can find more about myself, the Academy, and everything else that we do by going to the website, which is listed there, healingcenter.ca. The power of conscious intention to flavor your physical experience. The ability and the power we have and the effect that our intentions, conscious and or unconscious, have in flavoring our physical experience cannot be hmm, underestimated. And they have a much greater degree of influence than I think often we're aware of. So another term that I'm going to use for conscious intention is a vibrational set point or a vibrational state. So what I mean by that is I like to call it your vibrational pre-work. So it's that non-physical pre-work that you do before you enter into the behavior that often gets overlooked not that it doesn't have an effect on it but when i say overlooked is we're not consciously working at setting that set point the way we want it to be and in the facebook live that i just finished up the phrase curiosity versus concern came up really early on and i i like little short phrases like that because i can take they're like anchors that i can take them with me and then i can use that throughout the day to practice the things that i'm learning so here's the difference between concern versus curiosity. Now, you're entering into a behavior of some type. And the example I used was way, way back when, when I was working in uh, heavy industry, there was a, uh, make a long story short, there was uh, the, the site was in the middle of a field. And it was a big site. And there was a small box of very important papers that had fallen off a truck and, and nobody knew where it was at. And it was my responsibility to come up with this. So as I thought about that, before I did anything, right? So once I knew this is what I needed to do, before I did anything, I, I set my vibrational state. How did I do that? Through a conscious intention. What did that conscious intention look like? So I could have done it from a place of concern. Oh God, how are we going to find this? We, we got to get out and find this because this is a huge site and the wind's been blowing and, and who, we, we got to get out and find this. Or... Hmm. I wonder how I'm going to find that. Now I'm almost saying the same words, but the vibrational state I was in was drastically different. You see, when I was coming from that place of concern, I was in that vibrational state of it not working out the way I wanted it to. You see, when I came from a place of curiosity, I was coming from that place of assuming the vibrational perspective that it was going to work out. Did I know how? No. Had I went looking yet? No. But I'd done that non-physical pre-work of choosing, another way to think of it, a solution-based state or perspective, or if you will, a problem-based or a what I wanted state or what I didn't want. And we don't realize the power that has to influence and flavor the behavior. So to finish off the end of the story, what I didn't do was I didn't set that intention and then run out and start looking for it. What I did was I set that vibrational state and I held it or I managed it or I sustained it. And then it was, oh, probably two, three hours later, I was driving through the site and I happened to notice, this is a big site, I happened to notice on the other side of the ditch, up against a chain link fence, a little box. And the thought went through my head. Hmm, I wonder if that's the box. So I pulled over, went over, and of course it was the box, right? Now, that's a very real world example of the power we have to influence and flavor our experience and or our physical behaviors. Here's another example. 
it's the end of the month and it's time to pay your monthly bills. Now, you choose, even if you don't choose, you're going to enter into that behavior from some type of vibrational set point or vibrational state. So often, the vibrational state you're coming from, coming from, going to, right, is oh, these bills are so expensive. Do I have enough money to pay the bills? Yes, I have enough money to pay the bills, but I don't have anything left over. That's the intention. And that's the energy that you're going to bring into that experience. Or you can do your pre-work using whatever tools you have to do your best to set that to more of a solution-based vibration rather than or a wanted vibrational set point as opposed to a not wanted. And again, I'm not saying that you could go from, oh God, I'm so broke, to I got more money and I know what to do with like that. But maybe you can move a little bit closer. And I think that's the thing, right? One of the things I always say is we don't master our experience. We master managing our experience. Very big difference right? It would be wonderful if you could always enter into everything from the "Ah," kind of perspective, but we're not. But we can influence or consciously move our experiences more towards the wanted than the unwanted. All right. Now, another phrase that came up in our live session, and this was really interesting. And I know I don't have it here. Otherwise, I'd put it up on the screen is does your intention, intentions, honor you? So often, we enter into behaviors, but that vibrational set point, the intention is not honoring who you are. So often, we enter, you enter, I enter into behaviors because we have to, because it's what you're supposed to do, because it's what's expected of you, because, 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 because. All of those not honoring who you are, but you enter into the behavior anyway. And what I heard heard Sora saying was, we don't realize, and this is the word that came to me, we don't realize the damage that we do to ourselves when we do that, right? Again, in a perfect world, that would never happen. And I realize we don't live in a perfect world, but we can start to manage our experience a lot more powerfully. And just maybe that behavior, whatever it is, is one that you choose not to do because you're coming from that vibrational space that it's not honoring you. And maybe you do have a choice. Maybe you actually have more choice than you realize to choose the behaviors that you wish to participate in, whatever, and the ones you don't. And maybe the first step in changing that up is starting to be aware of those intentions, conscious, unconscious, and then starting to consciously work on creating those vibrational states So you can start to flavor your experiences, which will start to change your experiences into something that not only honors you, it's just a hell of a lot more fun. I will use that word. Because you deserve. Every one of us deserve to have a life experience that consistently gets better and better and better. And we can play a large role in supporting that or hindering it through the intentions, the vibrational pre-work that we do before the physical. Thanks for tuning in, guys. As I said, Russ Lato, the wizard in the Ask the Wizard Metaphysics Academy. There's a website over there. I'd love to have you check us out. If you have any questions, comments, or wonderings, you know how to find us. See you on the web. <laughs>